Prisms are a great way to enhance your work and it's a subtle thing that you can incorporate to your images or your videos in order to make it even more stylistic. And today I'm gonna go over how you can use them and then a couple of tips and tricks along the way about when you're using them. Now the prisms that I'm using today are from a new company out in LA called Prism Lens Effects. Now I'm not sponsored by them to make this video. I bought their triangle prism and their chromatic flare filter with my own money and I really, really like their products. So I thought I'd just, you know, make a video and share with you guys. I'll leave a link to the website down below so you guys go check it out if you guys are interested. So we'll first take a look at their triangle prism, which is this one right here. So the way to use this is to try and get the glass as close as possible to your lens like this in order to get the best result. So right now I have the 85 millimeter on my Canon 5D Mark IV, and that way it gives you the best results using an 85 or even a 50 millimeter. If you have anything longer than that, it works beautifully with those longer telephoto lenses as well. If you try to use a wider focal length, like a 35 or a 24 millimeter, you'll start seeing the prism itself in the image and that ruins the effect. And what's so cool about the triangle prism and what sets it apart from other normal prisms that you find on Amazon, these ones right here, is the fact that they actually have a quarter inch threading at the bottom, which you can you know, screw on a articulating arm, it mounts it to the bottom of your camera, and then mount the prism to the other end of it and angle it to it however you want. And this way, not only does it keep your hand free, it also keeps this prism mounted at the exact same position every time you need to take a shot or shoot a video. Another way to use the triangle prism is to attach a small little handle, and this way you're able to keep fingerprint smudges off of the glass and you're not touching it with your hands, and you're able to move the glass around the lens and sort of freestyle with it. When you're shooting video with prisms, you're able to create really cool transitions. The idea is really similar to how you would do a whip pan transition, but instead you're using a piece of glass. And all you're gonna do in the first shot is to start the prism on one side, and then slowly swipe it over to the other side of the lens. And then in your next shot, you do the same thing, slowly swipe it over to the other side of the lens. And I find that doing it diagonally and rolling the prism around a little bit gives you the best results, but definitely try to mix it up and see what works for you. And then when you take those two shots into your editing program, you simply cut right where the prism passes in the middle of both clips, and then you put them together. You can even add a small little crossfade just in case it doesn't transition very smoothly. And you can cut from one shot to the next in a very unique way. Okay, so what if you don't feel like carrying around a relatively bulky thing? You have the prism, you have the handle, or you have something like the articulating arm. What if you just don't feel like carrying so much stuff around? And that's when something very low profile like this chromatic flare filter comes in handy. It's a small thin piece of prism glass that's glued right into the middle of the filter and you're able to just rotate it freely to however angle you want. This will give you a different effect from the triangle prism. Like the name suggests, it gives you very cool light flares. And it'll sort of mimic what you would get from an anamorphic lens if you've ever seen those kind of light flares. And what's cool about the filter is that it comes inside this little soft case pouch has the logo on it and on the back you can put a little piece of paper and it's a nice soft case to store the filter and any sort of other accessories. I have a step down ring because the uh, filter is actually 77 millimeters and most of my lenses are 82. So I have this little step down ring along with the filter. And it also comes with this big microfiber cloth that's really handy for just cleaning off any dust, any watermarks on the filter and on your lenses. Another tip when you're shooting video is to try and add slight movement to the flares to achieve a better looking shot. It makes a shot a little bit more dynamic and it keeps the frame moving. Now keep in mind that everything I talk about here is very subjective. There really isn't any right or wrong way to go about using prisms or these little pieces of glass in front of the lens. It really comes down to what you think looks good. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something new. My name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.